Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the MOSFET cascode current mirror circuit, right? So I'll explain this circuit, how this circuit works and later I'll run the simulation in LTS Spice and I'll show you the, the waveforms, how the current is being mirrored, how the current flowing through this MOSFET M4 can be seen also in the MOSFET M1. Okay, so whatever current flowing in MOSFET M4, like it is 100 milliampere, you can see the replica of this 100 milliamperes, which is being flown in MOSFET M1. Okay, later I will explain this also how this happens, right? So, so let us start here. So this let us understand how this circuit is made right so you can see here there is a 4 MOSFET and MOS they are N MOS M1 M2 M3 and M4 okay and the part number for for this MOSFET M1 is A06408 so I used for this simulation the MOSFET part is A06408 so you can see here this is n channel mosfet and the source of this m1 is connected to the the drain of this m2 okay that is how they they, they both m1 and m2 are connected and you can see the drain of drain of this m1 is connected to the ground here right so this is the one way and you can see here this is the current i2 right this is the current i2 and the current flowing here is 0 milliampere to 100 milliampere and you see the with the speed step of 1 milliampere the current here is rising is linearly and you can see the other mosfet m4 and m3 they are also connected so the drain of this mosfet drain of this m4 is connected to the drain of this m3 and you can see here the source of m3 is connected to the source of m2 and they have connected via minus 5 volt power supply okay and you can see here also this i2 is connected to the source of this m4 right and now you can see from here i have connected one line which goes to the the gate of both m4 and the gate of m1 okay and same here you can see this point the drain of m4 and the drain of m3 is connected to the gate of m3 and m2 okay so that is how you can you can design your mosfet cascode current mirror circuit and lt spice okay it's very easy just you need to use this for N channel MOSFET and MOS and one current source here I2 and one voltage source. There is a no additional passive component requires here, right? Right. So now let us run the simulation and let us see the behavior here. So what you need to do is you have you have to go here. This is simulate and you have to go edit simulation command. So this is very important to understand, right? So you can see here for this simulation, what I am doing is I am sweeping the current of I2. Okay, this is the current of I2, I2 current, and I am sweeping the first source. This you can see here. This is the DC sweep, and I am sweeping this source as a first source. So you can see here, you can see here, tick on first source. Now you have to write the name of the first source to sweep. So in my case, it's I2, which is, I'm going to sweep this. And the type of sweep, you can choose linear because the current rises linearly. And let us say the start value is 0 milliampere and the stop value is 100 milliampere, right? Right. And you can see the increment here. This is very important. How your current is rising is very important. So since the current start value is 0 milliampere and stop value is 100 milliampere with the increment of 1 milliampere 
like the current increments 0 1 milliampere 2 milliampere and up to 100 milliampere okay that is how i set the simulation command right right guys and you have to make sure that this this voltage source v1 so connect this voltage source v1 very carefully in your design right so you can see the positive terminal of v1 is connected to the ground and the negative terminal of this v1 is connected to the source of m2 and m3 okay so if you 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 miss something here like if you connect positive terminal to this side you reverse this uh, the polarity your mosfet cascode current mirror circuit won't work okay now everything is set so let me run the simulation and let me show you how how this circuit is working right so now you can go at this run button this is very easy and you see let let me show you the input current right so you see here your input current rising from how much 0 to 100 milliampere right so let me add one more plot pen so this is your input current right this is your input current is varying from 0 milliampere to 100 milliampere you see here this is 100 milliampere and let me show you the output current so to show you the output current you just uh, put your cursor in current mode right you can see this here guys this i'm trying to put my cursor in current mode okay so this is current mode and let me click on here okay so now you can see now you you can see this is your i i2 that means your input current which is flowing from 0 milliampere to 100 milliampere and your id1 that is output current you can see idm1 that means current flowing through this mosfet m1 mosfet and you can see here current flowing through your m1 mosfet is also starting from 0 milliampere here you see up to 100 milliampere okay so what does it mean guys it means that whatever current flowing in another branch here another branch here you can see whatever current flowing in this branch in this loop the same current is being being replicated in this loop like m1 and m2 mosfet so let us say if you want to drive any load here you can drive by using this mosfet cash code current mirror circuit okay and it also gives the constant current with some accuracy right so let me delete this and let me overlap right let me delete this delete this pen delete this pen okay now let me show you the current flowing through this m1 right so how you can see so now you can see your both current here you can see i2 and the current flowing through id m1 is same so you can see here your waveform is overlapping to each other okay so that means whatever your input current is flowing in one branch that the same current is flowing in the another branch right so whatever current flowing here in i2 you can see the same current is flowing here in here in m1 okay so hope guys you have understood how you can design mosfet cascode current mirror circuit in lt spice how this circuit works how you can simulate this circuit uh, in lt spice right if you have any further question regarding this circuit feel free to ask me in comment section right thank you for watching this video